Welcome to another edition of the Bring Back the 80s podcast. It's Andy Jackson here. You might have noticed that um, we're starting off minus half of the team here. Where James is, I'm not entirely sure because he's told me he's got a little bit of a surprise up his sleeve. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for oh my god it's time to adjust those shoulder pads back comb what's left of your hair and jump into the delorean for a look back at what's possibly the best decade anyone could ever have grown up in shall we play a game this is bring back the 80s with your hosts james alderson and me andy jackson Oh, I've, yeah. I've never seen anybody quite as <laughs> quite as shiny in my life, James. Well, mate, you know I'm a trendsetter, and we did space and the future and yeah. sci-fi. I wanted to mm, get them all. You've certainly done something there, James. I know. Hundred yeah, percent, you've done something there. So, is this in your own personal collection, or have you gone out and bought this specially for today? I bought this uh, from Next yesterday, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could be landing airplanes. Um, I got it because obviously, if you are any into body popping, obviously, which I was, and um, the streets where I grew up, um, a boy and stuff, then this is what you saw. But I bought it, wear it, and my wife says I look a little bit like Jimmy Savile, so I'm a bit um, <laughs> upset by the whole situation. There's, there's various images that are coming to my to my mind. One of them is a Christmas turkey, ready to go in the ready to go in the. Um, the other one is one well, when people have been stranded on a mountain for many um, you know for many days after there's been an avalanche or something. Yeah. And then they come and they wrap them up in something yeah. that looks very much like that. Yeah. I mean, or if you're like me and into physical fitness, I've just finished a marathon. Them, haven't I? And uh, or a triathlon. So um, I do want to just reveal that I have got a, an icon of clothing from the. If you were a man of a particular age, then the bouffant hair, maybe with a bit of brill cream uh, or gel, and the shoulder pads and the single tie. I mean, Suggs. You know, you're sort of talking those sorts of yeah, the suit. The suit was sort of pretty archetypal sort of fashion for a certain gent in the 80s. A certain gent, yeah. yeah you know. It could, but the suit was actually quite prolific. The big shoulder pads, Miami Vice, all that sort of gubbins. So, yeah. I'm just um, trying to wrap my brains for that edition of Miami Vice where I saw... The, the two of them dressed up like that. Oh, like this. this. No, no, I'm in Max I'm with the Max Headroom. <laughs> I feel a little about Superman just bursting yeah. through with Max Head. Maybe I'm not. But, um, yeah, so I'm feeling... Um, well, actually, I feel like I'm on Operation New Tree, but um, the, 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 uh, the, this is definitely flavour flav, body popping, yeah. it all going on. Maybe not early 80s, later of the 80s, but yeah, it's quite cosy, this. So, back, I would, uh, the, one of the things I was going to say is keep that on, because it, it is like one of those blankets, isn't it? It is. You're going to just be slowly but surely, by the time we're done with this part of the uh, podcast, yeah. um, I reckon done. it's going to be done. <laughs> You're going to be done. Speaking of this part of the podcast, I might have given away something a little bit uh, secret there. Oh. Uh, because this is a because there's so much of clothes and so much of fashion yeah. going on from the 80s. We're actually splitting this up into two episodes. Wow. So we're going to do part one yeah. now, yeah. and then if all goes according to plan, part two Comes not after. in two not in two weeks. No, but in one week. It's sometimes I find it about you. I find that two weeks is too long to wait. It's so exciting for special <laughs> occasions. So I say to the wife, "Do we have to wait another fortnight?" She says, <laughs> "Yes," because um, that's when it's your birthday. So um, no things like that. So yeah, I think every week. That's lovely, and um, you know I've got I've got more exciting clothes. I'm sure um, you, you dig into your box that's out in your out in your garage, James, and I'm sure we'll never we'll never not be disappointed. <laughs> Is it, this is recording, I presume. This is. I'm just going to double check, make sure. Yeah, it says we've been going for a bit, so we're going to do it into two slightly. Um, maybe I was slightly, hoping it wasn't recording. Slightly, <laughs> I was hoping none of this was being filmed. <laughs> slightly different way of doing it this time. So we're going to do part one, um, but we do need to reveal before we go any further with the uh, with with the bits and pieces we're doing for this week. Yeah, uh, was the mystery sound? Oh yes. So let's yes. crack on with that right now. This is last week's that's coming up. It's a And you might well remember that for the first time we did a TV theme. This yeah. was classic local TV. We've got the clue on the screen there oh, now. Oh, bless him. I feel a bit like a sale. <laughs> you, uh, would you be the spinnaker? <laughs> <laughs> 
just look at that and that is down the road from us films on the river Hamble yeah, not far Howard. away at all yeah bless so uh, Howard's way was that we had a lot of people who got that right as well uh, the one that came up lucky is WB Performance which oh. I'm, I'm guessing is not somebody's name I'm guessing it's a, a business name a bloody great name it would but be but it is and, they, and anyway whoever you are at w, uh, WB Performance <coughs> uh, they said I remember watching it was either before or just after Juliet Bravo on the TV oh Juliet Bravo Juliet Bravo yes yeah, she was There's a saucy <laughs> saucy police lady policeman police person bollocks okay uh, but yeah she was great oh, even as a even as a young lad I thought she was lovely but they changed the actress once halfway through this is confusing. a thing that they used to I mean, even in the big ones like mm. you know some of the big American soaps like there was a dynasty they changed yeah. or dynasty depending yeah. on who you ask yeah. they would change like one of the main protagonists yeah. halfway through yeah. and they say oh it was all you've been asleep it was all the <laughs> or sometimes they would not even reference it no and they still do it on Emmerdale now don't they yeah. the kid, the kid <laughs> Uh, the, as you know, I say the kid last time I watched it, he was a kid. She's probably growing up and had kids of her own now. <laughs> but they would just change. Yeah. Like, and she, oh, she's come back from holiday. Totally different person. Or they do a reveal of a bandage <laughs> and unwrap them from a, a, a tooth operation and unreveal it. And it's a different woman with different hair. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, but that's, well, if only. Yes. If I was a different woman, with different, different man <laughs> yeah. with different hair. Yeah. So we do this week's brand new mystery sound. So yes, we say we well should. done to WB Performers. Just drop us a little uh, message, by the way, if you go to uh, Bring Back the 80s podcast. Yes, please. And uh, let us know your uh, let performance. Us know, let us know your details, yep. Mr. Performance. William. And uh, your, <laughs> your prize is uh, comedy tickets to anyone who changes his shows. Yes. Or. A Bring Back the 80s t-shirt. Da, 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 da. Has anybody um, actually claimed to Bring Back the 80s t-shirt yet? Loads. <laughs> <laughs> a few have. A few have. because, But they did. They hesitated because we didn't have them in a small size. We've done them in every um, size. Or needed, XXL. Yeah, yes. So we've got them everything. So whatever you want. It's yeah. entirely up to you. Yeah. Uh, so let's crack on with this week. We're going back with the TV thing again. <laughs> <laughs> that was proper telly back yes. in the day, wasn't it? Ooh. That was one of the shows that started in the 70s but ran all through the 80s as well. Yes, I think I know what that is. I think we all know yes, what that I is think as I well. Do. If yeah. you don't know, you're yeah. probably watching or listening to the wrong podcast. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> if you'd like to leave us a comment on YouTube, YouTube is where we're at now. So leave us a little comment on YouTube. Just tell us what you think it is. We yeah. will pick one of those correct comments at random. Yeah, just get commenting. And get let us commenting. know. We'll let you know on the next edition. Yeah. So anyway, so we're back to the um, back to the to the fashions. Obviously, you've come and you've literally dazzled us. Now yeah. I'm going to have you burnt into my retina. Dazzling. Yeah. For for a long time. You're welcome. But um, you know, I mentioned last time. Sadly, I couldn't find any photographic evidence. <laughs> um, I was no. not only was it the uh, the clothes. But mm. the hairstyles as well. Yeah, it was me back in the day with my shaggy perm. Thank God that there was no Facebook. <laughs> Thank God that there was no Instagram. Nothing. Thank God there was no Twitter. There was yeah. no evidence of any no. of these things now. Because you imagine, like you know, one second now, mm. and somebody catches you sort of you know coming out of uh, coming out of a club or something, or like, a farm shop, or a farm shop. <laughs> <laughs> Topical. If you come out of a farm shop and uh, a you're carrying a heavy bag and b you're walking <laughs> without assistance, that's going to be. But that is that is something that. You you know, people, scholars will debate in yeah. future years about this was the way the monarchy changed. But back in back in the 80s, we could do whatever we bloody well liked, yeah. wear whatever we liked, yeah. make complete arses of ourselves. Yeah. And there is no evidence no. anywhere to be Well, there found. is, but it's in the depths of the loft somewhere. Somewhere. It's been of one of those boxes, isn't it? <clears throat> a little bit dog-eared at the back. Yeah. And one day, you know, you might... So I've gone, started going through some videos that I had <laughs> in <laughs> from, like, from when I got married Yo. both times. Oh. And it's, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Were you wearing a suit like this? A um, little bit like yeah, that. Hair yes, like that. Yes. No, yeah. no curtains for the first wedding. Oh, my God. First wedding curtains. <laughs> I keep feeling like I've got to reveal this every time I want to talk about it. Um, yeah. Is that where we're going to the loo, by the way? Because it doesn't seem to have anything to... Uh, it's got a built-in bag, Andy. Okay? Um, so <laughs> Did you have a hair a bit like that? Let me have a look. Um, so, smash hits. This geezer. It's quite a boffant. Bouffant, yeah, isn't yes. it? Bouffant. Can, I, can we hold, see that one? Yeah. I mean, look at that on the other side. I mean, some hair. There is some hair there, isn't there? Um, I don't even know I'm who that say, is. I'm going to say, actually, on the back Nick of that Nick Rhodes. One. Yeah, on the back of that one. I'm the one that's on your left now. <laughs> this geezer. That was, that, that was who... <laughs> that was. I don't know who he was, but that was my kind of style with the uh, with the centre part. It's China Crisis, mate. Is it really? <clears throat> Whoever that is. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got you two in here. But the hell, I mean, Christ. Look at that hair. That's the, see, that's the shoulder pads and the suit. That's Kim Wilde, I'm thinking, isn't yes. it? Yes. And look at that. 
that is a sh- uh, another jacket. Interestingly, she's got the sheriff's star on that uh, Matey the Boxer still wears to uh, everything he does. Chris Eubank. <laughs> yes, he's got, he's, he always dresses up with his sheriff's badge, yeah. isn't he? For oh, some yeah. bizarre reason. Well, he's probably a sheriff of his world. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. It's the hair. You're right. Hair. It was a bloody good start of fashion. A lot of backcombing going on. Obviously, Oof. not not applicable to either of us anymore. Don't backcomb too much, kids. <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing, wasn't it? I mean, I, I never understood backcombing, but mm. that was where you deliberately made your hair look as messy as possible. Give it some zhuzh. Yeah. Give it some bit vol- body. Bit of body and volume. And now these days, I've got too much body. And uh, not, <laughs> not enough volume, hair. apparently. <laughs> Isn't it strange how things come around? I know that uh, there's been a, f- a fashion recently, and perhaps we're just at the end of the 70s to the 80s, people started wearing flares again. Yeah, I've seen a bit of that, and platforms and whatnot. Yeah. And we, it sort of came around in the 90s-ish as well a bit, flares and boot cut and, and platforms. And you would have thought they would have learned from that, but kids are doing it like it's their own thing. And good luck to them. You know, if, if, if manufacturers want to use a little bit more material to justify the increased clothing prices, <laughs> then you put your flares where you want to put them. I may think they're in cahoots <clears throat> with the uh, with the washing powder people as well, because obviously once you've worn your jeans out mm. once in the in the wet, yeah. you got that line of rain that sort of creeps up from the from the, <laughs> from the flares, your jeans yeah. used to hang on the floor, didn't yeah. they? Used to envelop your feet, so <laughs> it was like little like a little protective covering for your shoes yeah well that's just why this thing is so sensible <laughs> I'm resilient to not only rain but also nuclear fallout I think you could do, there's so <laughs> many things you could do in that you could be painting the house yeah couldn't you you could be uh, like you say you're clearing up after Chernobyl or something yeah, like that yeah I'll be, I'll be I, if I could only have a hood and some sort of mask <laughs> and a sealant I'd be in a helicopter above Chernobyl in a jiffy uh, well this is like a jiffy it actually is, isn't it, really? you could be mm. a, a kind of Annika Rice going in there Ooh. dressed up like a turkey Don't. to go there's people watching this thinking can we just follow his bum into a chopper um, <laughs> what <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism <laughs> don't put your bum into my oh chopper my God. or my chopper into your <laughs> bum ok yeah. so um, good yeah well I'm pleased you like it really classic shell suit not well not cla- it's a little bit you wouldn't wear this in the street obvs um, but if you wanted to go down to the rave uh, acid house or if you wanted to just impress your mates uh, or lose friends um, then this is what you get of course you're certainly not going to be lost in the crowd wearing no, that I'd wear the, if I managed to get onto top of the pops in 1988 this is what I would have worn yes and that would have been you would have been one of oh. the TV pre- people hosting the uh, hosting the, the programme I would have been whisked onto a, <laughs> a platform straight away get up there and dance all of a sudden they said and I'd say yes <laughs> that was the thing as well wasn't it was that you had to be not only did you have to be chosen to be in the audience on top of the pops mm. there was no um, there was no kind of strict way there was no methodology, was there? No. As to, you couldn't sort of like write in and say, please, can I be in? No. You would actually have to, as a child, this is this is where it all went wrong, yeah. is you would, you would have to hang out as a child yes. at the TV centre, wouldn't you? And be selected. And be selected. Uh, by people. <laughs> by, and who would be the... <laughs> I don't really know what a strange thing. She's 13. Oh, she can come she in She can come dance. up and stand next to me, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, I don't think I would have been selected. Um, I don't think you would have made the grade. I don't think uh, either of us would have. I wasn't in the correct demographic. <laughs> uh, even in this outfit, they wouldn't have spotted me. <laughs> even though I could now be spotted by satellites uh, coming over from, thanks to Google, they would have pro- I'd probably be spotted now on Street View, um, glowing through the studio windows. The good thing is, that I know I was saying earlier on that there was no photographic evidence from mm. back in the day when you would have worn that. Yeah. Luckily, now we are in 2024. This yeah. this. Yeah. We'll live on for my grandkids forever. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> we we'll watching it going. He was weird, <laughs> but there was. I mean, that was one extreme. Yes, of, of course the, it is. And I think we mentioned the other day as well that if you were, you know, if you were our age now, you would still be wearing suits and collars and ties to yeah. go to work, and you would be. I remember my dad used to carry a briefcase, and he used to have a tie done up. He used to shave every day. He used yeah. to be like just to go and just to go into his shop yeah. to be the shopkeeper. You would always be. You'd always make an effort. You wouldn't have stubble. No, stubble was not a thing. You might have a very neatly trimmed moustache. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you go through all of these. I mean, all right, it's smash hits and it's just 17, I think I've got under here somewhere. Um, But it's, you know, none of the girls have got stubble. There's no stubble (laughs) in any of this. They're all clean cut. You know, as you edge towards the 90s, you might have found George Michael had a bit of a beardage. But there's no kids in here with with stubble or looking unkempt. Um, It's all very stylised and uh, yeah, yeah. 
everybody was um, you had a particular look depending on their age mm. obviously all the cool kids like you would be dressed like that mm, correct. Uh, on a Friday night or a Saturday night but yep. as I say my dad and even my granddad would you know both be wearing the uh, the collar and tie yeah. and that would be the thing and also they used to you know does anybody ever shine their shoes anymore with no. like trainers and uh, the lovely comfortable sketches yeah. <laughs> other brands are available all my blazers <laughs> oof um, no I mean, they used there was a thing in in the 80s and 90s where you would have shoe shine machines you get them in the old posh hotel now but in a train station yeah. or in a, a shopping mall precinct area um you you'd get those little shoe shining machines or shoe shining people and uh, you just they'd spin around you and clean your shoes but nobody wants to have shiny shoes in fact kids who buy new trainers don't want them to look new you know they'll give them a bit of a scuff or a bit of a zhuzh um and and make them look otherwise they where they look square um, but I clean my trainers <laughs> so they look new all the time. I love a good washing machine setting for the trainers. Yeah. The, the ten minute setting, <clears throat> in they go. Yeah. And it's, it's absolutely good as gold. <laughs> Your sketches. But those, <laughs> can I just say, if sketches, if anybody from sketches are watching, yeah. I think your is the most wonderful brand in the world. Yeah. Sponsored by Sketches, sketches. and Saga Holidays. That's us. <laughs> love a good cruise. Love a good pair of comfortable slipper like Cruising shoes. in his comfortable <laughs> slippers. It's a sad <laughs> state of affairs, isn't They'll it? They'll be in this, mind so, you. <laughs> you could actually go, maybe you, maybe you know if if the comedy doesn't ever work out for you, okay, yeah. maybe you could go on one of those eighties things, and perhaps you could be like a part of a, a dance troupe, yes, with your break beating and bopping, bopping. and <laughs> whatever it was body popping <laughs> body popping that was the word I was thinking yeah. well you, you had to take your own little bit of um, vinyl vinyl yeah. so you could spin around and do all that kind of stuff as yeah well. that's what made this air come off um, spinning on my head too many times <laughs> yeah. when I was in the streets <laughs> I think what we should actually do now, and I'm just going to spring this on you, oh. if we get enough money pledged, let's get James doing his spinning round oh, popping let's. on the vinyl for the next edition. Well, maybe for the last edition. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the ambulance comes to pick you up after, uh, when you've had that heart attack, you're already wearing the protective blanket, James, anyway, so you'll be absolutely I won't fine. get cold, will I, whilst I'm having my heart attack. <laughs> so we were saying there was, there was one side of the coin was that, you know, some of us were looking like this. Yep. You know, our parents were probably looking looking very uh, uh, very old you know, more re- old yeah they were looking like old people yeah but uh, let's go to <clears throat> let's go to one of the big stores where we would have perhaps been buying our clothes from mm. uh, back in the day just have a look and see how much Stop beige there is a world of fashion that's international feels like it'd travel well Paris Plymouth Actually, better have a shirt as well. C and A have the flair. You'll see it in everything you choose. And with the flair, there's a quality care we look at closely because we know you will too. My God, look at the flair. <laughs> look at the care. Got the tie, so what? Yeah. <clears throat> Where well, fashion costs less, as always. Wow. There was a lot of beige going on. Oh my there. goodness! A lot of beige going on there. I love the way the wife was rubbing the lapel of his suit jacket as if to say, "You're not fucking wearing this." Are you? <laughs> what a load of shit! <laughs> but I did. I oh. had totally forgotten that uh, all the stores used to have their own, so like credit cards almost, didn't they? Yes. Back then, that was the C and A budget thing budget where you could account. You could but you'd have your own account yeah that's very odd isn't it and the ski wear that was a big thing into the yeah, 80s wasn't yeah. it everyone started going skiing in the 80s was it that just a ski wear that you would wear just around this country though to make people think you'd be skiing well or were people actually going it skiing it was a world of clothes Andy <laughs> yeah. um, so they you know I'm surprised that they didn't have scuba gear I'm surprised that they didn't have you know some desert boots <laughs> uh, I don't know maybe their world maybe the CNA world is just England and Switzerland that's it isn't it funny when you go to other countries now you still see CNA yes. as a brand if you go to like um, Cyprus or somewhere yeah. and you will still see some of those stores from mm. from back then yeah. still living on in some yeah. manner well Why? they've given up on England yeah given to just to be honest bastards <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, uh, now, now we've done now we've done Brexit yeah. our biggest export has been CNA. broken oh. broken brands of old clothes <laughs> yes. stores isn't it yeah I wonder if they've got a fine fair or a B-jam in in 
Switzerland somewhere <laughs> or uh, or something. I don't quick save. I don't know. No, they're still going. But um, yeah, I mean, you'd probably be able to get these. I had to get this from abroad. Um, so uh, not abroad, abroad. And uh, yeah, they probably sell these in C and A still. I would imagine they do. I online, imagine they I, do. If only they still so uh, yes, yeah, so the memories flooding back yes. from uh, from <laughs> from CNA and and places like that. Of course, the other th- place that you would go to would be um, you would buy clothes from the catalogue as yeah, well. The you? Grattan catalogue yes. or the Littlewoods catalogue. You couldn't get clothes from an Argus catalogue, but you could see a few samples of people wearing clothes. <laughs> um, and it's it was always interesting. The men. We've got in here, we've got Sun Pearl, which always, as we know, is a range of garden furniture made by Britain's leading garden furniture manufacturer. I didn't need to tell you that. And um, I just love the outfit, the men, be careful with this. Um, it's 44 years old. The men like wearing a very, very, very snug little. They are budgie, mm, proper budgie oh. smugglers going on there, aren't they? They uh, are snug. That is a, a fashion that I'm pleased that has not survived. You turn the next page and get a real years. classic fashion garden <laughs> yeah. chairs um, as well that you may or may not recognise. Oh, <laughs> yes. Look Everybody at these. Everybody remembers these. Everybody. They were like the ones with, if you're just listening to this and not watching us on YouTube, yeah. they're the ones with like the, the aluminium bits around the outside. And, yep. the, and they were almost sort of hung with springs, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, and the blue material with bright flowers. They also did an orange and brown one, um, which is nice. But, you know, the problem that caused when you're on holiday or when you went out to your garden is what the chuffing hell are you going to wear with that? Because it's so vibrant, these garden furniture. Yeah. No matter what you're wearing, it's going to look horrific. Look at this oh, one. Wow. I, just, I just just found that one with the, the orangey. Well, yeah. I mean, See, we're on to garden fashion now, yeah, really. But, but look at the ladies. They're wearing the skimpiest bikinis <laughs> in his Argos catalogue. And the men are wearing what could only be described as offensive yeah. <laughs> swimming trunks. Maybe with the skimpy bikinis, yes. we've just discovered why it was perhaps that the Argos catalogue was so popular yeah with uh, with uh, you know young men yeah oh, and young ladies perhaps of a, of a certain age there's a lady on that page in a jumpsuit <laughs> and then the blokes in some sort of workwear and then there's some old geezer just haunting them from the bushes um in what, what looks like his sunday best um this is <coughs> excuse me this is the thing you see 80s you still had a lot of people, like you say, who would fully dress up every day, even people who are 60s, they would put the shirt and tie on, jacket or the sun, you know, not just Sunday best, everyday best, and they'd be walking about in fancy clothes. Fancy clothes and maybe with one of these beautiful watches oh, on their arms. Don't the start uh, me off. The Acurus. Yeah, the golden Casio digital watches yeah. and the compu- calculator watches and all these very fancy watches. Well, not fancy. They were nine ninety. How much are they? Well, do you know what? They were a lot more expensive than that. Oh. For your old England ladies watch. Gold, oh, yeah. Gold plated. Oh, crikey. Forty one ninety nine. <laughs> but this was 40 years ago. 44, yeah. So that's going to be hundreds. Yeah, a couple of hundred quid, that is. Yeah. yeah. For a cheap old gold plated bit of tat um, that Raptor would have said. Very carefully had you back. Because I almost forgot that that was a priceless artifact that I, I was, could sense that. that I was leaking. I that could I, sense that. I was leaving through. This, uh, if I'm not sweating enough in this, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was Just feeling gonna, a little bit moist. Turn the, cor- <laughs> turn the corner of a couple of pages over to, uh, yes. to Mark up there. To Mark where your garden furniture <laughs> purchase is next going to be. <laughs> but that was the thing as well. I'd forgotten actually that, um, that you know, the obviously the models were wearing skimpier clothes back in those days. Yeah, and I had a little glance through, just by accident, and in the shower section and in the bedding (laughs) section, the women are basically naked. Yeah. And just a little bit, something draped over, and you think, or in the shower, and it's just an arm, it's just, you just don't get that now. I've looked, and uh, <laughs> just I've gone through purposes, all the wives' yeah. catalogues, I went and scoured the internet. If you try and buy a shower uh, or bedding, there's no naked women involved, Andy. Yeah. And I say, bring back the 80s. <laughs> they don't come on, they don't come with the cars either anymore. You know, when you're trying to sell us cars, there was no. always a lovely lady sprawled over, over the, the, the cars or whatever, yeah. 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 I know, I know. And as I said before, you know, it, I'm pleased that stopped because it's a nightmare to get off the drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the wife just draped over the bonnet. Get off, I've got to get to work. She says, no, you haven't. Uh, I say, you're right, I'll go ahead. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. It, and uh, I guess that's, that's one good thing is that now when you go to car shows 
men are draped over the bonnets um, in skimpy clothes and it's equality that's what I say um, good. thank goodness uh, um, I could be I could be draped over a bonnet I think if you were in a car showroom and yeah. you were behind the uh, behind the desk and somebody mm. wanted to see a what? see a car yeah. I think that I, you would be the first person I would make a beeline for thank James. you and you'd say do you do a car in those colours and I'd say do I <laughs> no, do you, no know, I do you know what though if you are a, a drug dealer oh yeah then James Chances are you will want your car to shimmer like that shell suit is shimmering. So yeah. maybe this maybe the circle has turned yeah. full circle yep. and we're now back where we were. Yeah. We have we have literally brought back the 80s. I think so. And and funnily enough, just like a drug dealer's car, my suspension is lowered <laughs> and uh, I've got a little bit wider um, <laughs> and make some noise as I go up the street. <laughs> oh dear, I do need some drugs to get me through the day, to be honest, but these days it's just ibuprofen and uh, yeah. some statins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, your, for your bi-monthly treats. <laughs> yeah. Give me a kickstart to the day. Come on, let's have some barracy tomorrow. Let's get this day over with. So anyway, Anyway, I know you came, You surprised me and I was genuinely I surprised well. earlier on when yeah. you came in. Yeah. Uh, it's time for another surprise of a different kind here, right here, right now. James' special lunchbox surprise. Now, I try and keep it themed, but I'll be honest with you, there wasn't any clothing surprises I could find. Um, but this has been something I've had in my cupboard for a while. My kid's going, can we bloody eat these or what? No, it's more important than you. You're just my kids. So I've got a podcast to support. So you open this and hopefully it'll bring back some memories for you. Yep, the Red uh, Transformers uh, yes. lunchbox. <coughs> wow. Do you remember them? Okay, fish They're and They're usually chips. in little, yeah. little bags. Yes. But you can only get them in these big bags because this just sums up portion control. Um, these days but they were a lovely sort of alternative to crisps they're just like a little crackers but very salty and vinegary mm. um, but they're in little bags a bit like the frazzles were in little bags I'm actually salivating mm, now just at, the, just at the thought of these well it, cri- you are I was thinking about this last night. Am I allowed to open it? Yeah, these? go for it. Sure? Yeah, no, they're, okay. new. they're new. I always have to check yeah, you every, do. every time. You do. Um, but in the, 80, in the 80s, you had normal crisps and you had frazzles and peanuts and you had these. Well, oh, they're a bit bigger, aren't they? Yeah. They're a bit bigger than they used to be. These are like, I'm going to say they're like, kind of like Ritz crackers. Yep. But in the shape of, in this one, in the shape of a fish. Oh, they are exactly the same. Mmm. Oh, Yeah. Do you want some more? Salt and vinegar. I'm going to eat the whole, <laughs> whole bloody packet now, James. Well, like yeah, that never. They are yeah. exactly the same. I've got my chips and everything. Mmm. Wow. So, sorry. But in, the past, we have, in the past, we've been disappointed mm. with some of the snacks that you've brought in yeah. with your lunchbox because they've made them smaller. Mm. Or they've changed the... They've made them vegan. Yeah. Or, you know, they've, they've taken all the artificial additives out of it that would have made you go completely off your tits yeah but these just like they were yeah this has got everything bad in it the list here it's got wheat flour calcium carbonate niacin iron thiamine rapeseed palm coconut i mean we're killing orangutans with every mouthful here glucose syrup (laughs) whey whey sodium bicarbonate Ammonium bicarb, sugar, lactose. Oh no! <laughs> e six two one, e six two seven, e six. Do you remember e numbers? The this big who are in the eighties. This is why they taste so good, though. Isn't oh, it? Mate. That is why they taste so. good. I can't I recommend these highly enough. If you remember fish and chip um, biscuit, sort of, what are they called? What are they? Fish, fish and, and chip. chips. Fish and chips. Salt and vinegar. From the eighties. These are from Burton's, not the clothing store. Hey, suddenly it's related. Suddenly related. Burton's it's made clothes. by Burton's, <laughs> but not the clothing people. Um, go get some because these taste exactly the same. Salt wow. and vinegar. I've just noticed. I'm just picking up on the small print here. Yeah. Salt and vinegar flavor mm-hmm. baked snack. So there's no actual real salt, salt or vinegar. vinegar. No, no. How do you Better replace salt? Anyway, we they have and they've done it brilliantly. So yes, there you go. You're welcome with that. Thank you very much indeed. I think we could actually turn this over. This so I hear mm-hmm. there are some uh, podcasts and some channels which just consist of people eating things. Until, oh yeah, until they're sick. Mm. With these kind of snacks, James. Yeah, we could definitely be going in that direction. Well, if we throw it in with some space dust. We could definitely be sick, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Multicoloured, popping, <laughs> sick episode. Now, on that um, note, just hold that thought in your head there for a second. Yeah. This is where we're going to leave okay. part one yes. of the fashion and uh, the uh, clothes and all that kind of stuff. There's Max Headroom there. 
He's, I don't think Max Headroom has ever envisioned himself wearing a shell suit no. as well as a suit suit. What a proud well. moment. <laughs> but <laughs> what we're going to do, as I said, oh, I've still got these bits yeah, and pieces in the they? teeth now. This is at the end of this episode. Uh, we're slightly shorter episode, but yeah. we are coming back yep. next week yeah. with part two yep. of the uh, fashion and whatever. Special. And you, yeah. you never know, maybe I'll be able to bring in a, a, a wig. For, a sh- for the shaggy perm look. I'm not making any promises, man. But um, until then, we'll, we, we normally say see you in two weeks' time. Yeah. Until, until, until next time, we'll see you yeah. next Tuesday for another edition of the Bring Back the 80s podcast. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this week's edition. We'd love it if you could subscribe in your favourite podcast app. And don't forget, there's a video version on YouTube too. You can contact us using the links in the show notes and on the YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time for another edition of Bring Back the 80s.